when is our owner gonna finish this weird cage thing? And what is, what's with this tarp and... Welcome to Breaking Things with Luke Eisman. And our project today is going to be use, using basically junk, which I have plenty of, to build a nice chicken tractor. Moving, moving chicken cage around your yard creates something called a chicken tractor, reduces how much feed you have to buy for your chickens, makes them really happy because they have different places to scratch at the dirt as you move it around, which is their primary function in life, and is a really cool thing to build. So I've got a nice big pile of junk here, and what am, these are pallets. You can find these basically at any grocery store in the world. I want to size this so that it does a couple of things. One, I want enough space that the chickens aren't very angry all day. If you do a little research, you'll find they need, for total living space, you want to have like at least five feet, preferably closer to 10 feet per bird. This is going to be only there during the day enclosure, and we want them to till the ground, so we'll go on the lower end of that. We're going to make this 24 square feet of ground area, which is, and we're going to do that by being four feet across, and six feet long. That also lets us fit right in the back of a normal pickup truck. We're gonna see if we can see if we can get lucky and have our first try work of just going down the middle. Hmm. Okay, well that's not working very well. So we're gonna but it looks like our idea might actually work, so we're gonna experiment with the tool method. We're gonna do this carefully. <laughs> enough to totally go through some of these, but leave a little bit with some of the others. You got your saws off sitting here, and it's your favorite tool. <laughs> so that side's definitely durable enough. Think of your shape initially as a rectangle. You're going to have a wall like this that goes too long, so that's two pieces you'll need. One across, that's another, and then two long on the other side, and one across. You're going to need six of these total, so we're going to repeat this same thing on the other. What we're going to do is, let's try just leaving that intact so that we don't break this piece, this piece, or this piece of wood, and just ripping out these middle sections. got our trusty table saw here that looks like it's going to get the job done. <laughs> We've cut all these in half. We've cut out the middle pieces, which makes it drastically lighter. Save those middle pieces by the way, we're going to use them right now. Now, under the category of taking advantage of the tools you have without doing, hopefully without doing too much overkill, I happen to have a compressor with a stick gun, so I'm going to use that to create my side. Try not to nail our fingers together, and roughly line up the height using these blocks, as well as the depth by putting our fingers under where we are not stapling. Now we'll put another at the bottom. We're going to sandwich this together. And the other thing is we're alternating the strong boards, which are these ones where we cut out the middle supports. They're still way stronger than these. These are a little flimsier than I'd like. So what we're going to do with this outer joint, check it out if you can zoom in. With this outer joint, we're going to overlap this section right here onto here to try and add some structural integrity to it. We don't want 
hopefully it's falling apart. And our crazy chickens escaping. Ta-da! One wall of our chicken tractor, other than the chicken wire, is complete. What I'm thinking is we use a little board that we cut out to go on it. So the chickens won't be upset if this isn't exact. This isn't an exact science in any way, shape, or form. Why don't we try right around like that? Roughly the surface. And then go to town. We've made some more progress on our chicken pallet tractor assembly. All of these junctions, so I just finished the box. I'm going to take this pallet and rip it into some useful pieces. Couldn't find a piece of just pallet, section of pallet long enough, so I took two pieces that were too short. And then this board, I'm going to use as a junction in between. So I'm going to make sure I have it measured correctly, and then I'm going to staple this board as a junction piece in between it. These little blockers keep it from really sliding out. So now we've got to stop at the bottom from going out. And pop this on like so. Make sure that it'll actually slide up. Get a roll of this at basically like any hardware. Fancy. Doesn't seem to be breaking. Sweet! When you put in a staple, you want to put it in while you or an assistant are pulling on it a little bit. So I'm going to staple here now and I'm going to pull in the direction that I want the tension. My fancy air and nail thing went right through, so now we're going to use a plain old stapler, which is going to work much better. We've got our tarp attached. Let's get our chickens in there. Now, do they peck at you or attack you or anything, or are they nice chickens? You got them, you got them. Get them in there, get them in there. Are we in chicken business? Woohoo! We're going to pull up the chicken wire. Slide this board in. Underneath. Is it the most clucking, wonderful chicken tractor you've ever had? Yes, it's wonderful. Yay! We're gonna have lots of eggs now. Sweet. So then, when you're done with your chick, when you want your chickens to come back to their roost, what you do is you'll just move this up against your roost before you remove the chicken door, and then just slide the door out from the chicken tractor. I'm sure you'll you'll do much better on your version of this project. Check out the instructable on this as well. And thanks for watching. We'll be back with another project next week.